Hello everyone, this video is for the Mud Puppy Urogenital System. We're going to begin with the excretory system. So we are going to begin with the kidney, which functions in excretion and osmoregulation. The end product is urine that is collected in what are known as collecting tubules. Also associated with the kidney is the arcanephric duct. This drains the kidneys and sends the urine to the urinary bladder. Mud puppies do not have a ureter. Now you are going to see the arcanephric duct again with regards to the male reproductive system because you may have noticed by now that the male reproductive system tends to be highly associated with the excretory system. So we'll keep moving. On to the urinary bladder. So the arcanephric duct has drained the kidney, has drained the urine from the kidney and sent it to the urinary bladder. This is where storage of urine takes place. The waste then gets expelled through the cloaca. Now in the urogenital system, the cloaca is also the location of genital waste as well. And you'll notice that during breeding season, a male's cloaca tends to be enlarged. So once again, that's where both the urogenital, so urinary waste, genital waste, as well as digestive waste gets expelled from the body. So on to the male reproductive system, which all begins at the level of the testis, which is the male gonad and the site of sperm production. So once sperm has been produced, it travels through what are known as efferent ductules and into the epididymis. So the epididymis functions in sperm storage, giving sperm time to mature prior to being released from the body. The vas deferens, also known as the mesonephric duct, there are synonymous names. This is the duct system that sends sperm from the epididymis to the cloaca to be ejaculated from the body. It's highly associated with the kidney and also called the arcanephric duct or the Wolfian duct. So all these names are synonymous. Now on to the female reproductive system. It all begins with the ovary, which is the female gonad. These are where the oocytes are developed, and you'll notice in mud puppies, the females tend to have a high number of eggs. These are produced via a process known as oogenesis. So once the eggs are developed and ready, they are released into the oviduct, also known as the fallopian tube. Eggs are going to enter the fallopian tube via the opening known as the ostium. Now, in mud puppies, fertilization is internal. So the female, well, let's begin with the male. The male is going to release what is known as a spermatophore from the cloaca. The female will sit on that spermatophore and take it up through her cloaca, and then it will fertilize the ova in the fallopian tubes. Now, the mud puppy is a good place to begin with learning the developmental ducts of the female and the male reproductive system because remnants of these ducts exist. Let's start with the malarian duct. The malarian duct in females becomes the oviduct. In males, the malarian duct regresses or becomes underdeveloped, but you still see remnants of the malarian duct. The mesonephric duct is the second developmental duct, also known as the arcanephric duct or the Wolfian duct. In males, the mesonephric duct becomes the vas deferens. And this is all due to the presence of an SRY gene on the Y chromosome that is telling the body to produce anti-malarian hormone. In the presence of anti-malarian hormone, the malarian duct regresses and the mesonephric duct develops to become the vas deferens. 
Now in females, because the SRY gene on the Y chromosome does not exist because females do not have a Y chromosome, the body is not told to produce anti-malarian hormone, and so by default, the Wolfian duct regresses. And so you can also see remnants of the Wolfian duct in the mud puppy. You just have to scooch the kidney sort of away from the dorsal aorta and vein. And so that is it for the mud puppy, your genital system. I do hope this helps you.